Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. So today I got the Platypod finally. So why don't we take a look at it? I'm gonna unbox it and just kind of show you what comes with the box that I got. Okay, so this is the Platypod Extreme and this is the newest in their Platypod line. This is replacing like, I guess it's called the Platypod Max or whatever. And this is supposed to be better. Okay, so here it is. It shows you all the stuff that it's got going for it. Comes in this nice little pouch. It's got this Velcro compartment in there. Here is a carabiner. Just a nice little, be careful with what the hell you're doing. And then we have the actual Platypod itself. What this is, is a tripod alternative, obviously. I mean, look at how thin this thing is, how small it is. And you can see that it is definitely made for being low to the ground. Here's a ruler, give you an idea. So roughly eight by five. Why they give you a beaner is so you literally take that and hook it to your bag, hook it to your belt, hook it to your pants loop or whatever, and then it'll just hang there and you're good to go. What they used to have were these legs. There used to be holes, like there are all these little holes in here. These are different, like quarter 20, different size mounts. It gives you suggestions of what you can put in here. You're supposed to be able to unscrew these legs and screw them into the various holes, and then you can put them to whichever height you wanted. It was great, except it was a pain in the ass because you always had to unscrew these because they were always poking through that way and they were dangerous because as you can see, it comes to a point, a very pointy, stabby point. So what they did then in this iteration, you basically pull it out and now you can twist these into, into multiple little directions. And now what this allows for, let's get them all the, the same way. Now you have legs that can hold this thing up. It's got a little thing for, for a tripod, or you can screw your own stuff in there. The other thing that it has is these little holes here so that you can put a strap through it. And then you can take the strap and wrap it around a pole or a tree or whatever you need to, to wrap it around. And then you can clench it down. So now it's sitting this way. So imagine if you take this and you put it up against a tree and you have the strap going all the way around the tree and then you have your camera mounted here. So good if you're walking in the trails, if you're trying to capture, let's say like a, a dirt bike race or even a cross country race or something like that through the woods, you know, or if you've just got it up and you want to film yourself walking through the woods, you get that B roll when you're a single shooter. What you can see is I put one of my small rig ball heads on here. So in this case, my A7 IV, boom. And there you go. Now I've got this and I can set it down anywhere with these super spiky feet. I can jam it into the ground, into ice. I can spin it. I can use the strap mounting points here and put it up on a tree so that I can mount it sideways like this or however the hell I want to mount it and we're good to go. Okay, so that's it. I mean, nothing spectacular. I got a new Platypod Extreme that I've been waiting for for months and I'll put it through its paces and hopefully I'll add it to, you know, my, my kit, you know, and I can use the carabiner to clip it off to my bag or whatever I need to clip it off to and I'll be good to go. So nothing spectacular, but you know, another new toy for the kit and hopefully that will allow me to do some new stuff. And that's pretty much it. That's all I got for you today. I, I have shot several different videos. I've done a lot of shit today. I finally got the day job thing done that I absolutely had to do today and nothing more because I don't feel like doing it. It is getting dark out from the clouds and I can already hear thunder. So it's gonna start storming, which sucks because we don't really have anything to eat and I know I'm gonna have to go get food and I'm probably gonna have to do it in a freaking torrential thunderstorm. So, meh. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.